Hey guys, it's me, EOD Game here, and first of all, quick shout out to Diablo Immortal for sponsoring this video on the channel as well. Now, let's talk about the new familiar system. You can have a pet running around, and it's very, very confusing for a lot of people, I understand, if you're just joining the game again, or maybe you're a new player. So let me try to explain as simply as I can. The first and probably like the most important thing is like, why do you care about these guys? The main thing is that they actually give you buffs. So as you can see here, I just put on display a character that gives me, or this companion right here, this pet, that gives me no buffs currently, and I'll slowly explain to you what all these means. So there are here a couple of active traits that you can have, and you can have multiple of them active. As you can see here, yes, you get some of them active, you can even have like, hit uh, crit chance by 1% increase, skill damage increase, you can have damage to players increase, etc, etc. All these actually builds up and, and if you can get many of these, you will be much, much stronger. So now I'm going to go show you, for example, let me swap this guy out who is has everything inactive for a guy that has some active traits. As you can see here, if I replace this guy, um, this blue guy over here with this other guy, then you can see that um, I actually have some of these stats active. So swapping out real quick, and now if I go back to the traits menu, you can see now here I have two active traits. Now I have Finesse and uh, Prescience, which now increases my skill damage by 1%, as well as reduces damage from other players by 1%. This is really nice, and I want to... Uh, my objective here is to try to get as many of these as you can. So the question then becomes, how do you get a, a, one of these pets with these active traits and how do you know whether they might not even get, give you any active traits at all so first thing here if you notice between this guy if i replace here you can see his stats like these are some of the base stats the unit has like he has this ferocity agility insight resilience the threshold that you want to get to have your first active stat is 120 so unfortunately this little guy has just one agility shot if not he will have like one active trait so as you can see here is like 119 and out of all of these other stats it's all below 120 so that's why nothing is um active as you can see here requires 120 requires 120 requires 120 to be active uh, as well so this guy on the other hand if i swap here real quick you can see he has two skills right here 164 and 135 he has ferocity that's very very high resilience that's very very high as well which is why he has these two traits active how do we get pets like i think that's the natural progression right there are two ways that you can do it one is you can come into this familiar summoning here and i'm just going to do it for the sake of i'm going to just do some summons uh, hopefully we have some video luck here give me a really good one uh, but this is one way that you can do it you can do uh these kind of summons using the contracts so you can get these here these tickets from completing your dailies i will show you in a bit let me just do my gacha addiction first this is pretty nice we'll definitely be uh, using him in a bit look at this uh, inside attribute potential is very high so that's pretty pretty nice you can talk to this uh, familiar keeper here in the contract shops and as you can see um, if you do like your weekly points more and more you are able to buy them out from the shop i haven't gotten my 120 years of time of recording but if you do you actually will be able to pick up like three of these a week if you do like at least 480 activity points as well your battle points weekly if you go to the familiars here you can see many many different ones you can just go in here and and check out the prices different servers might be slightly different but this is another way that you can uh, get rare familiars that you are looking for you can of course put filters as you please to find certain ones that you are looking for you can sort it out by like pets here specifically or you can even look for example um like you can see the god tier ones here with the, the many many strong legendary sets we will talk about all these uh, how do you get these in a bit as well these are like um very very good passive i think the best one a lot of people are saying is savior who gives you like damage immunity for three seconds now we want to slowly power up our familiars the first thing is of course when you first start off with familiars you will only have the guys at like level one so what you want to do is that uh, you want to empower them you want to make them slightly stronger and what you're going to do is go into this screen here click empower like this guy that we just got um, by leveling up if i go one by one you can see that their stats slowly improve as i click the level one level one and etc he slowly unlocks certain skills as he goes along so let me just show you for example i take him up to now he's level 11 he now has like two different skills here and i want to like keep pumping him up some more as you can see he just keeps unlocking skills as he goes higher and when for example i push him all the way to 30 you can see that he reaches like his max potential already and he now has this one here siphon as one of the skills that this little guy has unlocked so what i'm going to do here let's go back into the familiar screen 
we can take a look at this guy. So his traits are finesse, prescience, and this guy's traits are fiendish haste and decimate, which are very, very different. And that is actually your first objective that you want to look for. Find familiars that have different traits that are active. So now I have two here, I have two here. If I go into the traits guide, you can see now we have a grand total of four out of 11. And this is how you slowly progress to get more and more active tracers. So you can have up to uh, like three slots here. I'm obviously very poor. Can't afford the third slot yet, but slowly we will get there. So you can get all the maximum traits uh, eventually. You just need to slowly play and slowly upgrade your monsters, get a bit lucky with some of the pools as well. But there are also other ways to like get more. You might be wondering what else do you do with these guys and why are there like some stars over here and that's what we're going to do next so for example for example we have these three gray guys over here in this screen here there is this button here called melt some of you might be wondering don't click and pack or anything uh, you want to click this melt button and what this is going to do let me just show you is let's just use this button here when you fuse two monsters or pets with the one like one yellow star here combining them together um, this will give you a one tier higher pet that now has two stars. Uh, okay, we'll talk about the what you should and shouldn't do in a little bit, but let's just show the animation here so we can show the two star ones. Hopefully you get something nice. In this screen, I can then like pick out certain skills that I'm looking for. Uh, you can like s toggle and select as you want. For the sake of speed in this video, I'm actually going to go with just whatever is recommended. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you another thing that I want to talk about. Let me go over here and click this convert button. Now, as you can see here, I am going to be converting these three guys together to form some random uh, unit. So what this is, for any of you who are wondering, conversion here is me slotting in three max level ordinary familiars to produce a max level familiar totally at random. There's a 30% chance to have this aberrant trait or aberrant classification. I'll show you what it looks like in a bit and also 10% chance to acquire one of the, the utility traits. We will talk about that in a bit. And there's many things that is attributed by, but let's go ahead and see some things in action. And we can get like one of these at like 10% chance, uh, but we'll see how that goes, of course. So skill quality just shows you some of this. Let's go ahead and convert these guys together. Okay, so this is a very lucky one. He actually turned out to be an aberrant. How do you know whether it's an aberrant or not is you can actually look at the left side here beside the name. You can see Ash Sweeper is the monster itself, what it's called. This purple flag thing is the classification. He has this aberrant classification and very, very nicely also has this like um, appraiser which allows me to have remote identification. A very nice quality of life feature. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's a huge like quality of life feature. So I'm going to go ahead and like add him into my slot. We actually have 5 out of 11 now with this stat uh, appraiser in uh, allowing me to like remote identify wherever I am. It's just a very nice quality feature as well uh, and aberrant unit. All right, so at this point, we kind of know like how do we get more yellow stats over here, more yellow skills that your pet can have. We simply do this by keep fusing the ones with, for example, a 1 star into a 1 star, we get a 2 star, 2 star into a 2 star, we get a 3 star, and eventually you have a 6 yellow star pet, which then you will have everything over here in a yellow rarity uh, for the skills as well. Then the next question is, how do we go one step further? For example, I showed you the pet in the marketplace right now that we can see. We have a very, very strong one over here. Let me just sort it high to low. We can see this pet here is extremely strong. He has not only six yellow, but out of which four of them have these very, very, very strong uh, skills. For example, this is like Savior, which prevents you from dying. You have this ignition thing, which you can burn an enemy for 45 seconds. You reduce the cooldowns here as well. Very, very tremendously powerful. You can also see that this pet here has two traits. Two of them are currently inactive uh, because you need 170 and above st stats here, which we talk about in terms of attributes. None of them are 170. That's why it doesn't have it. Uh, but one thing you want to monitor is this one here. This is the aberrant logo on the side. And that is coming to the next point I want to talk about. If you go into, for example, the familiar screen again, when you click familiar details, the ones that are non aberrants you realize you can melt them up. But the ones that are aberrants the melt thing now disappears. What you now want to do is convert them and eventually you want to like roll them up into a new aberrant pet. So let me just show you here because I don't have any of the other guys here. When you put in three max level aberrant familiar, so I need this guy times three, 
you are able to then get a new aberrant familiar at random. The skill quality of the familiar is influenced by the highest quality among the three consumed familiars. If they share the same passive skill, blah, blah, blah. One thing that I want you to know is use, using conversion stones will not only improve skill quality, but also ensure that the familiar rarity does not decrease. The resulting familiar inherits with the highest attribute value among the three familiars as limited by the familiar species and type, blah, blah, blah. If any of them have advanced traits, the new familiar is far more likely to acquire advanced traits. So if you see over here when you are trying to convert, there's these stones here. How do you get these stones, you might ask, is if I go back into the familiar menu and I choose to end the pack, which means I like delete them, you will actually get a couple of stones. You can see here, um, ending this pack will give me four conversion stones. And if, for example, I ended the pack with my this other pet here, I would actually get eight conversion stones, which helps out in that sense and that's how you slowly roll it up to find rarer and rarer skills for now for most of you you want to do what we said in the start of the video try to look for pets initially that help you fulfill the traits over here that I could get as many as you can and then once you have uh, all these three slots unlocked you have as much active traits as you can then slowly it's a long process of trying to roll your pets up and up and up and until you find a good one and hope this video helps clarify the mess there's a lot of other stuff that's out there but do check out the other guides on YouTube as well I'm sure you can find tons of other content from other content creators too and thank you guys so much for watching again see you in the next video